I got to sit for 11 hours on that thing. For your own safety, keep your seatbelt fastened and stay slow during the flight. for me. Holy shit. Alright, so roughly 15 hours later, we're finally here. Now maybe I should try and go ahead and explain why I'm actually here. So remember a couple months ago when I went to a Legacy of the Void Summit for StarCraft 2? This time around Blizzard is doing one for Heroes of the Storm as well. And while I'm not covering like a ton of Heroes of the Storm content on the channel, I have been doing it since the very beginning and I do upload regular videos of the game as well. So apparently I made the cut. After like the 11 hour or so flight and managed to get to the airport, had to wait a little bit because I was sharing the cab with Grubby. Just ended up talking to him for about an hour or so and then we made it to this place right now. And besides Grubby, there's also a whole bunch of other Heroes of the Storm guys as well. I know that Pally Time is coming, I just said hi to Calder, to Jake and a bunch of the other dudes that are already here. Kalaris is on his way, Kendrick is on his way. A ton of other Heroes of the Storm guys coming in. Now the actual event is tomorrow. But in two hours or so, we actually do have an, like an introduction type dinner. And while I never have the worst of jet lags, I'll be honest, I slept about five hours in the last 24 and I still have an entire evening to go. So I think I'm exactly gonna be spending the next two hours right about over here. <sighs> So I went back to the hotel room just now, it's currently 9pm only, but I am so tired. So between the Netherlands and California, which is where I'm at right now, there's about 9 hours of time difference. Which basically means that even though it's 9pm right now for me over here, it's basically very early on in the morning over in Europe. Looks like I shouldn't be too jet lagged, but I'm gonna be calling it a night. Alright, so let me try and go ahead and explain to you what I'm actually here for. Now truth be told... I'm not even 100% certain why I'm here. And let me try and explain. So basically how this sort of thing goes, Blizzard Entertainment reached out to me and was like, yo, we're gonna be releasing a whole bunch of new things to Heroes of the Storm, you wanna come and check them out? And I'll be like, you know, sure, I'll go ahead and like fly across the globe to get to this event. So right now we're in a place called Newport Beach over in California. But the thing is, they can't actually share the things that they are announcing with you until after you sign an actual non-disclosure agreement. Which basically says you're not allowed to like release any of this information until like a certain date. So because they can't really tell you very much what the event is about, I got a very basic outline of what will be happening. I know that I got an interview with some of the developers and we got a couple of presentations and some dinner parties and all that. But other than that, all I really know is that they invited, you know, professional gamers like for example Bakery, Chris, uh, content creators like myself, like Pally Time. They invited like live streamers like Grubby and casters like Grubby as well, like Kendrick and whatnot. And they basically just invited a ton of people over here that sort of like, you know, do community related things. To Heroes of the Storm. Now today is the day of the actual event. I got about an hour or so to get ready, but I think I'm gonna see if I can get some food with Kendrick. Alright guys, so basically me and Kendrick are just being cheapskates right now. The cheapest breakfast in the hotel is like 20, 22 or like 18 25 to 22 ish. It's not enough for us to no. live, right? So we're, we're heading outside. The only problem is that we're obviously Europeans. We have absolutely no clue where to go. So we're trying to figure out here how traffic lights work. Not exactly sure what that sign means, but oh, well, I guess we're not allowed to cross anymore. You have a feeling what? That we hopefully may find something to eat here. <laughs> <laughs> we're touristing this one up hard. <laughs> Taking a picture of a building that doesn't look like the US. <laughs> We have about an hour or so, so we should be able to make this just fine. We just need to find a place. So this place is called E24 and it says we're close. Where's the logic? <laughs>
going to talk about a couple of things today. First is going to be our ranked play update. We also have two new heroes to show you here today. So I made a real quick trip back to the hotel room just now. Had a bit of a change because it's really warm over here. I mean, I'm from Europe, right? We, we generally speaking, at least in the northern part or like the central part, it's, it's pretty cold. Either way though, pretty much all morning and afternoon so far, we've had a lot of great meetings. They've announced a couple of great new things such as, for example, ranked play and basically the entire revamp of Hero League, as well as like two new heroes, four heroes of the storm. Now I was lucky enough to actually also go ahead and interview two of the developers that have been working on those new systems. If you're interested in checking that one out though, there's a link down below in the description of the video. I also was lucky enough to play the two new heroes today, so if you're interested in checking out those videos, they will be coming out sometime later this week. At least if, you know, the whole transfer of footage and whatnot goes well, because either way, in a little bit, we're gonna get a tour of the Blizzard campus, which apparently is like a, a half hour drive or so from here. I've been there before, but I'm gonna take you guys with me anyway. The nice thing is though, that I get to meet a lot of people that I talk to online, and, but never really meet in real life. It's been great so far. new. So I actually do not know what we're doing here, but we're I mean, uh, these are. There's the XD dark right. Don't feel any discomfort from the motion of the chairs. So basically, that came out of nowhere. Trixler had the great idea to go ahead and you know. Was it? Yeah, it was all cattle. <laughs> anyway, we ended up like basically shooting Zorklings and Mutalisk in like 3D space. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. You actually ended up winning. Yeah, I won. But because. Once I realized there was a score component to it, I had to try hard. I was like shooting like that, you know? What? Alright, to be fair, I didn't win the tutorial, so, you, did, you know, you we're kind of on the same level in that regard. Alright, so I am finally back at the hotel right now. It is currently 10 past midnight, which basically means that in about 9 hours from now, I have to make sure I make it to the shuttle to make it to the airport in time as well to not miss my flight. It's been a great time though, I got to meet a lot of people that I either haven't seen in quite some time or just simply haven't met in person at all and it's just been in general a very very good time as well. Most of the evening I spent, you know, going for dinner and then just playing the new heroes. We've got Chromie as well as Medivh and both of these heroes are really fun to play, they're very difficult. Obviously as soon as like I can actually go ahead and play them at home I will be covering those in videos as well. <laughs> I'll be honest, the gym experience wasn't actually that bad. The only problem is that they didn't really have very heavy dumbbells, nor did they have any kind of like 
Dawa rack or you know any kind of barbells either. Anyway, I do really need to go ahead and clean up the room a little. I need to be leaving in like a half hour and I need to shower as well. I'm honestly impressed with the amount of a mess I've managed to make here within like two nights without me really even being in this room very much. So the taxi is arriving in 15 minutes from now. I still need to check out, but we're perfectly on time actually. I'm perfectly on schedule, which is not bad. And then I basically have to sit on a plane for about 11 hours from LAX to Amsterdam. Not looking forward to that part, but oh well, at least we're heading home. Oh, by the way, I haven't even shown you guys this yet. I have shown it on the live stream a couple times, but look at this. Basically, we got like, you know, the obvious Stitch logo over there, then also like the green in the hood, the exact same color that I use on all the social media and basically everywhere, Loco TV related. And then also right here at the bottom part, that like elastic bit is also in the exact same green. Pretty awesome, right? I don't really know when those are going to be for sale, but hey. I mean, you know, I, 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 I like representing Loco TV. He's a pretty awesome guy. You should go check out his YouTube. Oh, wait. should be here in a second. The thing is that the flight isn't actually for like another four hours, so I guess we're just gonna be hanging out at the airport. <laughs> so I got the entire inspection party over at the airport just now. Boarding card wasn't working, my bag needed to be checked, I needed to get a touchdown. Basically everything was terrible. <laughs> Either way though, we haven't actually eaten yet today. Um, just eating at my favorite place, Panda Express. I traveled all the way here to uh, have one of this uh, amazing meals. Monday afternoon and now it's the Thursday morning. However, I hopped on the plane on a Wednesday morning. In total, in the last three days or so, I ended up traveling for roughly 24 hours, which is a little bit much. Either way though, I do want to thank you guys all for watching because honestly, the only reason why I get invited to these kind of events and the only reason why I do get to travel the world right now as much as I am currently doing is because you are actually watching the content. Seriously, thank you guys so much for watching the videos. I hope you, you know, enjoy watching these vlogs as well. The rest of the day I'm probably just gonna be spending by mostly editing this vlog, which probably is gonna take me a fair bit of hours. But other than that, once again, I want to thank you guys all for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile alright, and I'll see you in the next one.